what is up everyone welcome back to my channel so if you haven't read this title then I don't I don't know what to tell you but if you did read the title then you know that today I'm going to be dyeing my hair this is the first time I'm dyeing my hair in the three years and something months that I've been natural I'm almost natural for four whole years now since I have big chops so this is the first time and I'm actually kind of scared that I'm going to damage my hair. So, yeah. I went to the store. And I bought quite a few different hair dyes. I know what color I want. I just, the box dyes, it's like, you, you expect the color and you don't get it. You know? You know what I'm saying? I actually bought three different hair dyes. See if I can get my color. I'm only going to be using one though, so. And it's actually two was on sale, so that's why I really got it. So I'm gonna show y'all the three colors that I got. And before I do this, if you're new, please be sure to subscribe down below. And yeah, let's, let's just roll right into this. These are the three hair colors that I bought, okay? I'm going for more of like a copper tony. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for, but I just want something that'll look nice with my brown hair because I have a weird color of brown hair. It looks dry, it looks dingy sometimes, and I just don't like it. So I kind of wanted to switch it up. So I'm actually going to take out one of these because I know I'm not going to use one of them. Narrowed it down. But these are the two options that I'm left with. They're pretty much the exact same color. It's just this Garnier brand. This Garnier brand, as you guys can see, it's the Oilia. It's a light natural natural auburn. And this one is Clairol, also a light auburn as well. The only issue is I don't know how it's going to take with my hair because these were my only options. I was looking for Cream of Nature. The Shea Moisture one that we had in my store, it just wasn't it. It was going to give me yellow and I don't want yellow. These were my only options. Now, the color on these, they're fine, it's whatever, it's just, to be honest with you, neither are curly, and just, so, I'm not doing my whole head today, to be honest with you guys, I don't feel like doing it, I'm just going to be doing like a few highlights, because I actually want to, later on in my life, a couple months, weeks or so, if this turns out right, then I actually want to dye my full head because I'm tired of having my hair just one color. This is my hair. <laughs> Inside the box, you have the developer, the cream, after color conditioner, which I actually also bought some stuff to use as well. And then we got the colorant. I feel like I don't need to read the instructions, but hair dye has changed. I haven't dyed my hair in three years, so I feel like it's changed a lot. We should probably read the instructions. So I've actually bought hair coloring, hair, pre hair color prevention, hair color prevention shampoo. What? I've actually bought shampoo and conditioner that prevents hair color from fading. It's supposed to keep your hair vibrant. Yeah, that's what that's what I meant. So, now I want highlights. So I didn't really think this one through. So let's see. I'm gonna start off on a part of hair in the middle, you know? That's how I used to do it, I think. <laughs> 